Hey, what's up, guys? How is it going? So I'm back again with one more interesting story. So you guys know that all these stories are based on uh, real incidents and all these are true stories. And I hope you will learn one or two lessons out of this uh, story, okay? So it was early in the morning and uh, it was around uh, 10 a.m. And Swikak uh, uh, is in his desk and he's yawning because last night he binge watched Amazon Prime. And uh, so he got up and he moved to... Uh, the cafeteria area and then uh, but he found that coffee uh, vending machine is not working so he felt totally like he felt very frustrated and uh, in the meantime he also noticed that his friend uh, Rajesh is also there so Rajesh said hey, you know dude what happened like the model we were working on it was scrapped and again project manager uh, said you would design it re-implement it and again we have to do the same work again it really sucks man it's it's too uh, boring and uh, I, 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 I'm telling you that we don't have a future in this project. And uh, Rajesh could uh, relate to his, uh, his uh, frustration and he felt more frustrated. So Rajesh and Saikat, they work in the same uh, software company, same project. And uh, uh, they were working in this project for last uh, four years and it's a maintenance project. And uh, the technology is obsolete, it's a legacy technology and uh, job is very monotonous, repetitive and uh, uh, so they were not liking it and every day when they meet over tea or coffee they always discuss how uh, they, how they are stuck into this project they are not learning new things it's a legacy technologies they won't find any jobs outside uh, and like so many negative things they will discuss and at the end of the day they will feel frustrated sometimes they feel uh, when their anger uh, on their boss and some and boss is also not preferring him because of that uh, and uh, uh, he is not sharing project project related critical information to them. He is uh, preferring some other uh, two leads. So these two guys, uh, like every day, like they will get into the same uh, kind of uh, discussion. So one day, like Rajesh thought uh, enough is enough. Uh, he reached out to a mentor outside of his office, and he suggested like four things. First, you uh, look for opportunity, like uh, look for uh, opportunity in the same company if there is any other project and if you can get released within six months to a one year time frame. And if it doesn't work, uh, then ask your manager uh, so that you can part-time contribute into some other project. You uh, you uh, raise your concern that this is what happening and I'm not learning anything new. So I want to contribute to uh, some project where uh, there are good uh, technical skills I can develop. And I, uh, still, if that is still not happening, then you start this and you work and build up some kind of prototype and uh, some kind of demo will uh, prototype so that you can uh, showcase in the interview and etc like some kind of uh, technology uh, you work on and build some POC. Uh, if uh, all these uh, don't work or like uh, once you develop enough technical skill then maybe you should look outside. Uh, so Rajesh implemented all of them and then he finally moved out of this project with a better role, better uh, salary. So what are the key takeaways? What are the key learning from this? So we all have some uh, problems or difficulties in life. We all face at some point of time, like because it may be because of people, it may be because of the environment or the circumstances we live in. Stephen Covey in his book, uh, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People said that we have a circle of inf uh, concern, right? And we have then a circle of influence. We have a circle of concerns this big, but influence only few things we can influence. Focus on that. If you focus on the areas which you, got, which you can't change, right? for example, the project, maybe technologies are old, obsolete, legacy, it's a maintenance project, you can't change it. Right? Because there is a technology they're using, uh, customer is using, client is using. So you can't change it. Focus what you can change. Because if you discuss negative things, your energy will uh, energy level will go down. Right? Yeah. If you focus on the yeah. positive things, you will be able to go out. Right? You will be able to, uh, uh, you will be able to uh, find better opportunities. It's, it's true with everything in life. Like even if you are in a bad situation in life, focus on the uh, thing or uh, focus on the way out instead of uh, thinking that, okay, I'm a victim. Instead of having a victim mindset that, okay, I can't do anything. I can't change anything. Think what are the things I can change. Focus on your uh, cycle of influence. So what is the one line a key takeaway? Is take 100% responsibility of your situation. No creeping, no excuses, right? Because you are the driver of your own life. So uh, if you uh, like this story, please share, uh, like, uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel because every week I'm uh, sharing this kind of stories of uh, cubicle dwellers 
and I, I'm sure that, and please go and check out other stories as well uh, in this channel. I'm sure that you will like it. So until then, this is Avi signing off. Uh, stay positive, stay awesome.